Okay, we're live. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Welcome again. And today, hallelujah. Uh, I was coming on solo, but now I have uh, my co-host. Amen. Prophetess Pastor Marcy, uh, Marcy Jenkins. Marcy Miles Jenkins with us. Amen. We're going to finish. We're going to finish two. See, this is the year of the double. Two, twenty-two. And so we are finishing, we are finishing strong. Amen. Two, the number of weakness, the double. Two, the number of seeing things uh, uh, break through and manifest. Amen. If two of you and all shall agree as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven too. And so today we're going to agree concerning your life, concerning your finishing and concerning your, your crossing over into this uh, wonderful year, this year full of potential. You see, this year is like here comes a baby, a baby which is full of potential, full of potential. And I come to tell you this year is full of potential. And one of the things before I, 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 I let uh, uh, Prophetess Morrissey come on, one of the things when you see a baby and uh, it, it, you do not know what they're going to become, but God already knows because he pre-planned and preordained some things. And this year is pre-planned and preordained in God. As a matter of fact, it is already completed in God because the Bible says, a thousand years is like yesterday when it's past. A thousand years in, in our realm is like yesterday when it's past. And so this day is completed already in God. And so if we follow God, it's going to be a tremendous breakthroughs, tremendous success, tremendous fruitfulness, multiplication. You are going to see some tremendous thing. Amen. And so I'm going to uh, present to others and maybe to introduce to some. Amen. Prophetess Mercy, that this is the last broadcast for the year. And she is going to uh, speak to you what God has put in her heart. Amen. Amen. Good morning to you all. I see you all coming in. It's good to see you, Minister Rosetta, all the way from the UK. And we have Providence Andrea calling in from, uh, joining us from um, Canada. It's good to have you. And uh, Pastor Paul, all the way from India, man of God, it is, um, it is a pleasure to have you with us this morning. And yes, indeed, I have a word to share with you all this morning. And so the Lord woke me up and gave me this word this morning in 2 Samuel. We're in 2 Samuel <clears throat> and chapter 4. And this is talking about the story of the murder of Ishbosheth. Now, Ishbosheth was um, Saul's son. Okay, so King Saul had a son. Um, he had many sons. We know that Jonathan was one of them, and he uh, was. Uh, uh, he had a, a great relationship with David, who was anointed to be king. And so Ishbosheth uh, assumed himself to be the next king after his father. And so he began to um, position himself. And so what had happened is David's men, David's men had created an ambush and they went to his house in the middle of the day. The Bible says noonday, he was laying on his bed. Okay, and so this is the king's son. This is uh, Saul's son, one of his sons, Ishbosheth. And so they came in, uh, David's uh, warriors, David's men came in and they uh, created an ambush. The Bible says it was like they were there to fetch wheat, but instead they smote him in the fifth rib. They smote him in his fifth rib and took him down. And they ran to David assuming that David was going to promote them, assuming that David was going to be pleased with their action and their words. They came announcing to David, David, we have taken out one of your enemies. Okay. And so uh, he is his head. They, they, they smote him in the fifth rib and they actually beheaded him and they brought the head of Ishbosheth, King uh, Saul's son, one of his sons, 
to David and David, and I'm paraphrasing, David is like, oh my goodness, did this not happen before? Was Saul, one of you guys, one of my men took out Saul, came in, came to me assuming that they brought forth good news. This is not good tidings. This is not good news. To bring slander to your leader is not good news. To bring gossip to your leader is not good news. To bring news that I have smoked your enemy is not good news to the leader. For David was a man who had the heart of God. And though even though he was a warrior and he shed much blood because he was an instrument of God, he executed the judgment of God when God released it to him to do so. And so what they had did was seen as wickedness and unrighteousness. And so we have to be careful as leaders of those who will come to us because they are seeking promotion. They are seeking to please us as leaders and they are looking for the downfall of man in order to raise themselves up. But God said that this year, 2023, will be a year that you will have discernment. It is going to be a year where God will heighten your ability to understand the ulterior motives of men, that even when they come with seemingly good news, that you will discern that the heart of man is pure, wicked, and evil, and they're only bringing the news to you so that you can position them, so that you can authorize their actions, not understanding that for them, it is a game of checkers and chess. People of God, are you hearing me? It is a game of checkers and chess. In other words, they are looking to strategize. This year, 2023, is not going to be a year that you will fall out of the favor of God because of man's wickedness, because you didn't discern the heart of man. For we don't even know our own hearts, but God is already pre-warning us and given us the understanding that there are those who have an ulterior motive, though they stand with us, though they're a part of our team, though they're in our community, God is already forewarning us and given us the understanding that what would seem like good news is not good news. It wasn't the will of the father to take down somebody in order for one to be exalted. It is not the mind of the father, it is not his heart. And so slander and gossip, let it not be seen among you. Let it not be out of your mouth. See, there are those that will come to you because they understand that there is an enemy that is in competition with you. And so they begin to forge a relationship with you just so that they can build that toxicity in them. In other words, because they're full of darkness, they're seeking darkness in you so that the two of you can become one. This is nothing but the enemy behind the scenes. It is nothing but an enemy that is trying to stop the kingdom from advancing. And because you are leaders on the front line, God wants you to be aware of what's going on, even before it's played out. So when the year is coming, the months is coming, you'll begin to see the plan of the enemy. It does not have to happen. It does not need to manifest itself because you have been given the intel that when it comes, then you won't even put your name to it. You won't co-sign it. You won't co-label with such uh, such uh, um, individuals. You'll be able to miss and that, 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 uh, that uh, bullet will be diverted. It won't come your way. It will not affect you, your life, your business, your ministry, your promotion and your job. Whatever the case may be, your destiny will remain intact and your favor will remain intact with God. Because David was a man that understood how the judgment of God is executed. And he understood it was not his portion to find his position. It was God to institute him and to place him in position. It wasn't for him to do that work. But his protégés, his uh, mentees, they did not have the understanding nor the awareness. And so people of God, leaders of God, it's up to you to uphold the standard. The standard of what? Righteousness. Being in right standing with God. Having the mind of Christ. It is up to you to uphold it, even though your flesh, your flesh might want to put your two cents in. Your flesh might want to get excited and, and read up. You might even be stirred. Because of the unforgiveness and the bitterness, you might feel a little stirring, but you're going to have to put it under control. You're going to have to say, 
It is not me. I am moving with God. Until he says something, I say nothing. This conversation is not for me. You will have to shut it down and not participate in it. Why? Because it will derail your destiny and nobody's got time for that. 2023 is your breakthrough year. See, the enemy has to try and stop your breakthrough from happening. And this is what the Lord told me. He does not want you to fall out of favor with him because of such acts. The favor must run on. The favor must be loosed. The favor must be unhindered. And so the enemy is looking for a way because he sees what's about to happen in 2023. He sees it. The promises. The promises of God are yes and amen. You've been holding on. You've been speaking forth. Okay? You've been stirred. You're waiting. But the enemy is looking to besiege and to ambush you at the time when you least expect it. And like Ishbosheth, in the middle of the day now, there was an assassin and the assassin came to his house and the assassin was not given authority. <laughs> the assassin was not given authority by his own leader. Amen. You, you, amen. 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 Praise God. Continue. This, the assassin wasn't given authority. And, and we are talking about the, the, in the time of Jesus coming into the earth, it was a season of Herod, Herod the king. And Herod represented the spirit of espionage, sabotage, and the, and the assassin, the assassin. Because when he found out, he sent him to spy to see where Jesus was and to sabotage the plan of God, whereby sabotaging the, the, the purpose of Jesus came into the earth for. And then he would assassinate him. And uh, the spirit of, of, of Herod is a the strong man that has these rest of spirits working with him. Also the spirits of lies and deception. And that is what you're talking about. And because the Bible begin to talk about the last days and the last times, this is going to be prevalent is the spirit of deception lies because it was lies and deception that caused this world to be in it lucifer a, a satan sorry lied to eve tricked her deceived her the, the bible says she was beguiled he, uh, uh, and uh, and when she was beguiled he tricked her it was a lie it was a lie and it was a it was a, a deception and she bought the fruit, but Adam willfully did it. And that's why the Bible began to prophesy concerning a, a, a deception, a, what is going to take place. The prevalent spirit is deception. And God said, the heart is deceitful above, above all things. It, it, how many things you can think about? You can think about breakthrough. You can think about faith. You can think about blessing. You can think about purpose. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? And so uh, uh, men and women of God, leaders of ministries, leaders of churches, leaders of houses, leaders of businesses, leaders in, in every, the seven mountains or the seven spheres of influence, that they have leaders, amen, and even children that potentially are leaders. Watch out for deception. God is going to reveal deception. It's not everyone comes to you and say this and that. Some people, before they hear your vision, they are going to assume this is it. Amen. This is your vision. A-S-S-U-M-E. Assume your vision and carry it out. Because Javis was a righteous man. David, as the Bible says, was a man after God's own heart. He had faults. He made mistakes. He sinned. But he did not remain there. He didn't remain there. He repented. 
And his family came with sackcloth and ashes. He fasted and prayed and asked God for, for, for forgiveness. As a matter of fact, one of the, uh, uh, the greatest demonstration of forgiveness, the Psalms that he wrote, 51, was after he had committed murder. He, because the heart was deceitful, he didn't want to be found, found out. So he created the same scenario and caused Uriah to be placed into the front line to be killed. In other words, he killed him by setting him up to be killed. Now, it's, it's, it, in these times and these days, you have to understand it's not the physical act because sin first results, sin results in the spirit and manifested in the flesh. That is why Jesus says, he, he said, if you look at a woman to lust after her in your heart, you have committed adultery because out of the heart proceeds the issues of life. And these men, David men, their heart was deceitful because they were looking, as you said, for promotion. When some people look for promotion, they would discard others they're gonna lie upon and connive upon this others presenting themselves so men and women of god leaders as we cross over into this new year you have to believe god says let the discerning of spirits which is one of the gift of the holy ghost let the discerning of spirits be operating in my life because discerning of spirits when the people come into you, God is going to say by the Holy Ghost, he's going to reveal their hearts, reveal their intentions, reveal what is the, what their motive is. Not everybody that comes to serve, not everybody say, God has sent me to lift your arms up. Not everybody is, is truth, is truth, is truth. Not everybody is truth. Not every person's motive is true. They have, as, 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 as Pastor Prophet as Mercy said, they are calculating like a chess game. Amen. They want to get, they want to checkmate you. Amen. They, 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 but you see, they don't understand God has already preordained and predestined who is going to be close to you. And you have to really ask God, Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of God, God manifesting in flesh, he too did not know who God has set to be in his right hand and his left hand. He didn't know, and he didn't choose. As a matter of fact, when he chose the 12, he went into all night prayer. So one of the tools, one of the tools for victory, one of the tools for blessing, one of the tools to set the right people in place is all night prayer. And I'm going to, I'm seeing that this year all night prayer is going to extend because there was a, there was, there was a fear and there was some bad teaching that you don't have to pray all too long. You, and you only have to pray one time. Come on. That is not the teaching of the word of God. Because even Jesus, when he began to teach about prayer, he talked about the unjust judge. Because you see, prayer is a legal thing, is a legal matter. Prayer is a legal matter. You have to come according to the protocol of God. You have to come according to the words of God. Worship is also is a legal thing. It is, is especially prayer. He said an unjust judge he talked about because prayer is it has legalities involved in it. Legalities. He said, and this woman was coming all the time persistently and so God, in this year, for you to move in discerning a spirit with the, with the, with the understanding and discernment, discerning who is around and what their motives are, is going to take a lot of prayer. To set some people in place is going to take a lot of prayer. To write people, not because this one is given $10,000 gifts, $1,500 gifts, this one is buying you and buying you all kinds of things. That, that, that could be the satanic, a satanic strategy to get into your heart and to be next to you that they're going to be the open door for the satanic onslaught. So this year, 
that is present with potential, the year of the breakthrough, the year of breakthroughs, amen. Breakthroughs, and the, 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 this year is a year of breakthroughs and fruitfulness. I'm saying it, you can write it, the day of the year of breakthroughs and fruitfulness. Breakthroughs and fruitfulness. I begin to see God breaking off the minds, your minds. Some of you are lazy, but the God is breaking off the spirit of laziness and the thing that had your mind frozen and the, and bad teaching. You're going to begin to see that some teachings that you received years ago, there was bad teaching. It was not the Holy Ghost. It was not the revelation of God. But somebody came up with it, and you have joined into the bandwagon. You joined the bandwagon because this one seemingly great, and this one seemingly have thousands of followers, and this one seem to have millions of likes. Said it. I'm going to say it. You know, let the Holy Ghost direct you. Let the Christ in you reveal. Let him give you wisdom. Let him give you understanding. Let him give you discerning of spirits that you're going to know. Because when a person comes to you, it's not a flesh, but it's a spirit behind the scene. It, 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 it is a Fear spirit that is in the is in the flesh, but there is a spirit that is controlling them. There is a spirit that is leading them. There is always a spirit behind the scene. You do not see, but the motives. That's what the scripture says. By their fruit, you're gonna know them. By the fruit, what is coming out of them, what they are bearing, because this year is a year of fruitfulness breakthrough and fruitfulness i've declared now breakthrough and fruitfulness some of you are gonna find loved ones your aunts your uncles some of you are gonna find loved ones that have been trapped and caught up in false cults, false religion, false belief systems, and you are following them, now you're going to have to intercede and demonstrate, demonstrate the power of God. God is coming into families that, uh, this year this new 2023 and bringing solutions in families god has not saved you and delivered you for you to just to run off your your weakness has to be forced in your jerusalem jerusalem your immediate surroundings that is the first weakness in jerusalem when jesus said you're going to be filled with the holy ghost you're going to be filled with the spirit of truth and your weak you shall be witnesses unto me in jerusalem their immediate surroundings has to do with your family has to do with your bloodline has to do with your neighborhood has to do where you go first your your church your ministry first your your jerusalem where you go first then 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 judea which is a little place a little farther from jerusalem where you begin to travel to where you begin to your next place of assignment then samaria samaria is with them that are half breed there was a naturally was a half breed people not spiritually is a people that hear the word of god they understand they, but they don't have full understanding with the word of god but they are mixed with false religion false cults they have a belief in god but they are they are mixed with false false teachings false awareness a mixture they have like the woman at the well she had a belief in god she had a belief in the God of Israel. She believed in the God of Israel. So Jesus went the program of God, the plan of sending him to Samaria because he's going to bring a deliverance. Her life is going to be crossed over for one of shame and one of, uh, of, of ridicule, one of rejection, one of heart, one of, that she was tied up and messed up. Samaritans, amen tied up and messed up in mess in mess but god loved them too and 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 god began to, to witness to me today 
today as I was coming to this place, amen, uh, uh, for, for me to do this. Today, he began to talk to me uh, uh, clearly and simply, and I want to say it to you, do not discard people because of their human experience. Do not shun people this new year, 2023, because of their human experience. Because God sent them to the mother's womb. There is a person in there. There is a spirit in there that God has pre-programmed for success. God has pre-programmed and has assigned to do greatness, great things. It might could be a simple thing, but it's great things because that person is coming with a uniqueness of God. They might not, they might be a beggar, but there is a uniqueness of God in their life if the thing is released to God. If they release their life to God, he can activate it because every one of us, every one of us, you are not a nobody. People call you a nobody because of what they consider non-achievement and what they consider not great achievement or not, not great money, not great possession. God doesn't look at that because he said clearly, a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things he possessed. It is not his life. You know people have abundance. People have come to tremendous position and heights in this nation and other nations. Look at Hitler. Look at them. Satanic servants being a part to bring destruction to the people of God. And you might you know little when you think it's little, but it's a seed. It is a seed that God has given you to plant that's going to bring forth a fruit. And I've said to you, we have said to you again this year, this year is break fruitfulness and breakthrough. Fruitfulness, because that is what God has imputed into man and gave man his first commandment when he said, be fruitful, be fruitful, be fruitful. We are created for fruitfulness. Fruitfulness was imparted. God imparted himself into us. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And according to the Jewish calendar, which is the calendar of God, because he gave it to his people according to the flesh, the Jews, the Gregorian calendar was it was a, a manipulation that was given to the world by you know Constantine. This calendar was given, and we began to follow this calendar. But the calendar that God has set, the Jewish calendar, this year began already. And one of the symbols, the symbols for the year is a man that is taking, if you look at the picture of it, is going towards the water, is going towards that picture he's carrying. Amen. It, it, it is something speaking of what is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. What is a symbol of people is, 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 is that we are going to the masses this year. It's going to be a year of tremendous evangelism. And you're going to see the word of God taking place because water, the Bible talks about washing by, by the water of the word, washing. There are going to be some deliverance. There are going to be some cleansing. There are going to be some transformation. Some people that you have written off because of their lifestyle, because of what they get involved in. They might be looking funny, ringing the nose, all kinds of tattoos and all of that. They, 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 it means that they were uh, they, 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 they placed themselves in allegiance with the enemy, but they have a spirit. And the spirit was given by God. And God is coming today. You're going to see breakthroughs. You're going to see some, some riots take place in the realm of the spirits. You're going to hear some reports 
Amen. Because there is some, there's, there is some tremendous warfare going to take place. You're going to see some legislation come up. You're going to see some bickerings in with, with I am of this and I am of that. Some tremendous divisions that are going to take place, even in some parliaments, even in some, in the Congress, you're going to see some fights take place, but God, plan is going to be uh, and purpose is going to be realized because you're going to see fruitfulness when they could not things could not come to pass you're going to see fruitfulness because god has already declared it he has already prophesied it amen by the number of the year by numbers fruitfulness which is uh, 83 is pregnancy is fruitfulness 83 and it's 57 83 that is one of the things for fruit fruitfulness 83 and now we 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 is 23 amen 2023 watch and see god move today and this year as we are coming to an end amen we are crossing over you see when jesus said to them he declared his word he said let us go to the other side the word of god is going to be given but it is going to be immediately tried you're going to receive prophecy and you're going to see like if your whole life is is in turmoil i know some people they don't want to hear prophecy i don't want to hear no more prophecy i heard about these no more prophecies because when prophecy come my whole life is in disarray is not in disarray is your whole life is taking the art of god because immediately satan comes to disrupt and to cause fear i said god no 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 i don't want to hear no more prophecy i don't want to hear prophecy is god's revealing his plan and purpose for your life what he has written in his book concerning you even before the world was because in Psalm 139, it's 16, before there was none, none, no world, before there was no man, God has written concerning your life because he knew you. He knew you before your mother's womb. He chose you before the world, this foundation of this world. Because it, it's the word revealed. We were chosen in him before the foundation of the world before the earth was brought forth or ever before the mountains were brought forth or ever there was this world god god is god was god and his easter come god he, he is that's why when moses said, what is your name he said i am i am I am present. I am. The I am lives inside of you. The I am that created this universe. The, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created. So he was before the heavens and the earth. He created. And so God has already gone before to you and I and the world for 2023 he has already seen the struggles the bickerings the warfare but he has already declared you woman of god you man of god you child of god that you are already as you as you, if you put your trust in him you shall never be brought to shame and god said this to somebody them that put their trust in him shall never I should say, never be brought to shame. There is some conspiracies this year to bring you to shame, but you shall never put your trust in God. All the time you're going to escape. They tried to kill him and he walked through the midst of them. They cannot. They cannot. When he walked through the midst of them, he's, he's, God is revealing to us we are in him. We're going to walk through the midst of them, the conspirators, whatever they plan to assassinate, whatever they plan to eliminate, whatever they plan to sabotage, whatever they plan, they're spying you out. 
because they need promotion. James and John, which was his first cousins, because their mother and his mother were sisters. James and John, even in the even even in the bloodline, the bloodline, the bloodline. They're going to be conspiracies because of the outward appearance and how it looks to man. And she interceded. She was a part of, 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 of his team. She was a part of his team. She was his mom's sister. And she said in intercession, when you come into your kingdom, let one of my sons sit on the right and sit on the left. Jesus says, not, is that for me to give? And so there are some people serves you for promotion, some people that serves you for a, a recognition. I am in the chief places because they're looking for promotion. And this year, you're going to be promotion seekers coming. Uh, they're going to be conspirators coming because their the, 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 the heart is not is not after God and the things of God. They're going to be nice. They're going to be they're going to even be relatives. Your same bloodline, but their motive is not correct. So God knows who's going to sit on your right, who's going to sit in your left this year some promotion is going to take place in the church some promotion is going to take place on the job and your businesses because it's fruitfulness things going to multiply things going to increase you're going to tremendously increase going to come for the children of god promotions for the children of god but make sure your motive is right because these are the days of, of understanding said the lord these are the days that I'm causing a new drum beat to come forth. I'm causing you to understand my rhythm, understand my voice. Even prophetically, you're going to understand even by uh, 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 things that occur, things that occur. You're going to understand and hear me even in some unusual things. Uh, you're going to begin to hear my nonverbal communication by actions that things do you're going to begin to understand me in a new dimension of my of, of grace and my glory you're going to begin to see that uh, 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 the things that establish by men are going to fall down ah like london bridge fell down like uh, uh, like the titanic sink when the heart of men believe that this is that i create an eternal structure i create this thing you're going to see systems crumbling you're going to see people that were established coming to the you're going to hear about news of people that had enormous sets of money enormous influence coming to the ground because it is in the heart like the one which was which was uh, uh, had all this money that was blessed he said i have built my barns i have done this i have done this and then i said tonight your soul is required of you you fool because you're gonna see them that said it's my genius built it is my education build it it is my money that build it you're going to see them coming to naught in this year they're going to be there's some disappointments for some they're going to be there and they're going to be an, an appointment for others disappointment for some an appointment for others even in this year because you're going to see a turnaround the the thing that was blanketed in the mind that kept you bound and to a certain level of thinking and a certain level of dream has been destroyed and you're going to see promotion coming forth you that did not bear you're going to bring forth one day it's going to be to the amazement of men you're going to see systems come forth you're going to see new things come into manifestation new businesses new ministries new ideas new people coming into prominence and into millionaireship and to multi-millionaireship many of my people are gonna be promoted coming into this realm because that which blocked your thinking 
has been removed and destroyed for is the day of elevation you're going to see my people move tremendously in, in in real estate in real estate and it's going to be a tremendous time of evangelism you're going to see again the awakening of the spirit of evangelism signs and wonders and miracles you're going to hear about large crusades again you're going to hear about large followings again you're going to hear uh, people going to be lining up to into come into some uh, 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 places of worship and the blind eyes and lame are going to walk again because this is the year you're going to see breakthroughs in many areas of your life. Even some things, government, is something's going to fall flat and some things gonna, new things going to come forth. For these are the days of change. The chain is broken. Is destroyed already over 2,000 years ago. But as you walk in faith, as you walk in faith, do not I tell Joshua every place where the sole of your feet shall tread upon shall be yours? For him to move, him to have moved to another place, it had to happen within first, with his faith. He had to believe it to conquer. And as, as, as you believe, you're going to conquer. You're going to see the overflow of my blessing, the overflow of favor, the overflow of my grace, and my anointing new upon your life. Not only upon you, but upon your children and your children's children. The next generation shall come forth. You're going to see young men and young men in they're coming forward mightily preaching uh, and especially young women. They're going to, I'm going to cause them to beat back this tide of foolishness that is taking place with the gender thing. You're going to see strong women and strong young men, millennials and young people coming forth by the, 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 my hand and by my power. You're going to witness and you're going to see new names coming forth. I begin to see this woman, this young woman emerging mightily and strength in evangelism, strength in the prophetic and the apostolic. You're going to see great, great graces release upon my people. The norm is over. The norm is over. A new day is done. And family is going to come together. Family is going to come together. For it's a day you're going to see of the family coming together, coming together, and collectively going forth in me. Said the Lord, a new day is done. New season has come. A season of the rain a season of blessings many of you that lived in drought for such a long time in living drought financially drought spiritually drought economically drought socially many of you that wanted to give up because how long i'm gonna wait for this to come to pass how long i'm gonna wait for my spouse how long i'm gonna wait for my for my my, my business to, to flourish how long i'm gonna wait for my ministry it seems i'm stagnated you're going to see the drought season is ended. It's a new day, said the Lord. A day of increase, a day of breakthroughs, a day of fruitfulness. For the yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. Amen. Pastor, Prophet is mercy. Amen. The drought is over. The season of the drought, the drying up, the withering away. The, the season of fainting, the season of doubt is over. We're going full force into God and advancing. And so we will see the increase in the fruitfulness because we're moving forward. We're moving forward. We're advancing. We know who we are in Christ. And we are birthed and we're full of pregnancy. We're, we're pregnant with the potential. And that potential just won't stay pregnant. But that potential will birth. It will bear fruit, much fruit. And so I'm just excited. Thank you so much for the word that you've released, Apostle. 
I, I myself are soaking in that word. I'm soaking in that word. I'm believing uh, for a shifting in my family, for restoration, for the young men's, for the young women's to see them, to take a hold of their identity in Christ and to continue to bear great fruit. I'm excited to see many people uh, take on the influences in their spheres of influence and to spearhead releasing the word of the Lord in those areas. I'm just excited that those places that there, it was dry, that the word of the Lord hadn't gone forth, that it will begin to spring up. It will begin to well up because each and every one of you are a chosen vessel. Your vessel that's been poured in by God and is being poured out unto the people. And so I'm excited to see the change and the transformation, the apostolic transformation in your house, in your family, in your community, in your church, in your region, in your city. I'm excited to see the wave, the movement of God, the move of God to begin to go out into the highways and the byways, causing those who have turned their hearts from him to be turned towards him now. And so I thank God for the expansion and the increase and the multiplication um, that has been spoken over this year. The Bible says that he crowneth our days, our months and our years. And I'm thanking God for him for crowning us with his word and with his power for as you said it's the anointing that has destroyed the yoke and removed those mindsets that has kept us into bondage and so now we can see with the eyes of our faith <laughs> we're taking a hold we're possessing our new year because of the eyes of our faith has witnessed i hear the lord say your eye, the eyes of your faith has been a witness unto you and so because we witnessed it because of the eyes of the faith went out and began to see, apostle began to prophesy. So the eyes of faith went out and prophesied so that we may receive a picture of what is yet to come. And so that is the witnessing. We have now witnessed what is to happen. And so we are in full uh, um, acceptance of the changes that will take place. And so we shall witness it with our physical, our physical eyes. And so we thank God for uh, being able to see in the realm of the spirit. And uh, we take it not lightly. We take it not lightly, the words of the Lord. And we uh, treat them as precious because they are. And so that they will manifest. And so we're, I'm excited. I'm excited. This is a blessing. Amen. Praise God. You see, when Jesus spoke the word, he said, let us go to the other side. Immediately comes a storm. And I've come to tell you, whatever storm is going to rise up against you before you to take territories and you to set captives free, they are already destroyed. You're going to speak to the wind or speak to the spirit. The wind, in, in Greek, the word spirit is pneuma, which means wind means spirit she spoke to the spirit behind the scene that was causing this hurricane to take place he rebuked the wind and he spoke to the sea because you see the wind or the spirit causes physical the spirit causes physical turmoil and physical turbulence it was the wind that caused the waves to operate. So when he spoke to the wind, when you speak to the spirit, calm, calm, then he spoke to, he, he rebuked the wind and he spoke to the sea. And there's a solution for your victory. Speak to the, rebuke the spirit and then speak to the conditions that the spirit develop. The spirit develop. The spirit of cancer is a spirit. You rebuke the spirit of cancer, and then you speak to the manifestation, what it caused, the, whatever the, the malignancy is, and say, dry up and die. He spoke to the, he rebuked the wind, and he said, peace, be still. And immediately there was a calm. That is your solution. That is, there is a strong man behind the scene as you go forward in this new year as you as you gonna move on from territory to territory you're gonna move from dimension to dimension from level to level there is a strong man at the entrance at the entrance because uh, i know we are going along the entrance is where uh, or, or the wall is where the military force was the legislation took place 
that was the stronghold at the entrance. So the warfare is, is, is when you're getting through tremendous warfare, no, you're entering to a new realm. You're entering because the, the, the enemy forces is trying to prevent you because there's a harvest waiting for you. And so you press, you press. Jesus said it clearly, give us the strategy. How can you spoil a strong man's good? How can you take hold of this territory? How can you, except you first bind the strong man, tie him up, render him powerless, arrest him. When you arrest the strong man, then you can spoil his goods. So there's a strong man over your family, you got to arrest. There's a strong man over your ministry, you got to arrest. Or your business, you got to arrest. There's a strong man over where you live, you got to arrest. Your city, your state, your nation, your whatever, you, you, you bind the strong man, then he's able to spoil his goods. So we have this solution already as we go forward. Because the Bible says, in all these things, we are more than conqueror. That is the voice of God. As we go forward into 2023, this is our last broadcast for 2022. Remember that you are more than a conqueror child of God. You are more than a conqueror, son of God, daughter of God. You are more than a conqueror. You are entrepreneur. You are, you are in the kingdom of God. You are more than a conqueror. Amen. You have any last words, um, prophetess, mercy before we, before we end? Um, I wanted to just share that um, I had mentioned something about this year had been a year of slowing down to speed up and so at that word that i released uh i want i want to help you guys so i'm going to be a little transparent so i'm going to help you guys okay so that word was talking about uh the importance of understanding ulterior motives and so sometimes we can easily judge others but i'm one i'm always judging myself first okay and so i myself took a back seat this year because I took time to reassess and assess my own self. So what that meant is I had to observe my own heart and I had to watch my own heart and see whether or not it was moving in the right direction or it was being influenced to do evil. I had to do that work. God didn't do that work. I had to do that work with the Holy Ghost, right? Self-examination, okay? Um, I know it's him, he, he led me that way. What I'm saying is I had to be a partaker. I had to want to participate in judging myself and watching and observing myself, okay? And so sometimes I have a tendency, I always see myself as a servant. I always see myself first as a servant. And this year was a year I had to discern whether or not I was serving because I wanted to obey God or if I was serving because I was trying to get ahead. Because one thing about me is I'm, I'm a go-getter. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pusher. I'm a mover, okay? And so I had to discern where is that energy coming from with me? It's always been there. And is it being uh, um, steered by the Spirit of God or do I allow the enemy to stir it up at the opportune time? And is it working for me or is it working against me? Okay. And so even though this is a part of my personality, okay, I still had to make sure it was under the subjection, under the hand of God. This is yep. the work that I was doing this year. And so I share that with you, right? So that it can support you even in your leadership development as you're developing leaders, that this is the work that we must first partake. Uh, because sometimes we will develop a critical eye in judging mm. others and checking their ulterior motives, but we're not looking at our own, okay? In order for me to even release that word, I have to be the first partaker of that word. Yeah. And so this is the word that I have been doing, slowing down, okay? Not pushing further ahead, but slowing down to allow God to reposition me and realign me. Not out of my will, but out of his will and allowing him to make the movements according to his uh, plan and purpose for my life. And so I pray that supports you because what I learned about me is I have a tendency to people please. 
And this can get me into a lot of trouble. Okay. All the the willingness to serve, but willingness to people please, please others other than please God or even to my own demise. In other words, making uh, uh, huge sacrifices and it's not godly sacrifices, but because I'm trying to please man, in other words, win brownie points, okay? And so, or loyalty points or loyalty rewards. And so these are the things that the Bible said, the heart of man is desperately wicked. And so in order for us to make sure that we advance in the kingdom and we don't fall out of favor of God, let us continue to also make sure that we're on God's team, people of God. I hope this is supporting you. I know I'm being a little uh, uh, a little transparent, but I love sharing because I think it makes it a little bit more clear for other people to begin to do a similar work in themselves so that greatness can really come up to the forefront and so that they can be used on a whole different level uh, with the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. I thank I thank God for your transparency. And I, 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 I got to give me a word by, for you. But I want to say this too, uh, as uh, this is the last day for this broadcast. It can be like in this format. Um, I want to say some transparency to you too. I also had a problem with... Oh no! Apostle was about to get into the juicy. What happened? <laughs> we can't see you, Apostle. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, guys, I'm sure he's coming back on. It could have been his phone. Uh, maybe uh, it, um, he might have to juice it up. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but let, let us hold him to that point. And um, hopefully he'll be here in any moment, any second now. All right. So thank you so much, Minister Stephanie. She just put it in the chat that we do have a crossover service tomorrow in um, Queens, New York. And that will be happening at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. And the address for that is 91-20-146 Street, Jamaica, Queens. If you can join us, Apostle is going to be ministering. If you can join us, it's going to be powerful. That will be happening tomorrow night. That's our our um, crossover service, our watch night service. And so we're looking very forward to seeing you. Um, hopefully it will also be streamed online. So if you're not able to be there in person, please do join us. You know, wherever you're calling in from, joining us from, please do join us at that set time. I know some of you actually have churches. Some of you uh, will be doing your own services. But uh, if you're if you're not and you have nowhere to go, we would definitely love to have you support the broadcast. Hopefully that will be um, aired tomorrow. And so um, I think he's trying to come on right now. I think he's trying to come on. And until that happens, let me just go ahead and just do some more shout outs. Okay, let us wait on because Apostle was coming. I know he's trying to come on right now. Um, Apostle, it says that your device is not connected. I know you're you're trying to get in right now, um, but for whatever reason, it's saying that your device is not connected. Okay, but I see that you are trying to get on. Um, I want to shout out Brother Dewey. It's good to see you, man of God. Brother Dewey in the house. It's good to have you. Uh, Jason, it's good to have you here too as well. Awesome. All right. So we have this Eileen. Eileen, I love that. Do what you do to please God. Amen. Amen. All right. So we have, uh, this is the information I was talking about for the watch night service. Um, there it is. Thank you so much, Providence Stephanie, for adding that there too as well. I see Minister Jennifer. Uh, thank you for being here. It's good to have you. Adicia, it's good to have you here. There's so many of you guys here. Elder Lorraine, it's good to have you here, woman of God. And Teacher Carton, it's good to see you here, man of God. And I see Dr. Christine. Yes, 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 yes. All uh, thank you so much for being here. Apostle is just trying to make his way in. He'll be here very shortly. Again, Apostle, I see you just come back in again, and it still says device not connected. Okay, so we're looking forward. Um, we're going to hang on here because we know that you have something very important to say, and it was getting juicy, and we didn't like it because people was about to get set free, right? People was about to get set free. So um, it's always good when we're transparent because it helps other people. And, um, you know, uh, we are 
uh, our brother's keeper and we are also laying down our lives okay and so sometimes our lives is used as an example as a model for other people and so that's the sacrifice we make is to share um what's going on in our life even our frailties and our humanness to share that so that it can help you listen i'm not about that life about being um uh you know, uh, I'm not perfect, right? You know, I, I we look to God, we look to Jesus to be perfect, but for man, we know that he's imperfect and he's been raised up as one that's imperfect, following a perfect God. Okay, and so uh, we want to support each other uh, with what we've learned because that's how we know that we can create an even deeper impact an even deeper impact into people's lives. Apostle, I see that you come on again, um, but it's still saying your device is not connected. I don't know if that is the internet. Uh, I know that happened before, but you was able to get in. So I'm not quite sure what you had did before that changed that, that status. Um, but uh, we want to hear what you've got to say, because I know it was getting, it was getting, yes, it was getting, uh, yeah. So we was going somewhere. So, I know the devil's mad right now because um, people is about to be set free. They're about to be loosed. Amen. Amen. It's good to have you here, Marvin. It's good to see you here, Marvin. God bless you. Joy, it's good to have you. I see Gerald. It's good to see you, Gerald. Thank you all so much. This is the last service, guys. We have been, uh, Apostle's been doing this for a very long time. Denisha, it's good to see you here. Um, he's been doing this for many years, many years, uh, but this is the last broadcast, the last broadcast of Prophetic Voice of Victory for this year, okay? And you heard what he said, it is a new day, a new dawn, a new dawn has come. And so we're excited for this new season in which we're embarking upon right now. Amen, amen. So Apostle's right here, we're going to have him back. He's back in the studio with us. Praise the Lord, the devil is a liar and he's been exposed. And so we thank God. Amen. Amen. I had to shut the device down because you know, I, I didn't do something. So, but this is the case of saying. You see, uh, I'm glad that you are transparent, that people know that men and women of God has to deal with the same situations. As the Bible said with Jesus, he says, he was tempted in all points like as we are. Like as we are, yet without sin. And sometimes we are tempted and we messed up. So this is how I had messed up for a long time. Mm -hmm. There was a tendency in me, it is a hard situation, I had to confess this, that I put trust in men. Mm -hmm. And the scripture, God uh, is speaking to me, I read it, and he's speaking to me and says, Curse is he that put his trust in man. Curse is he. And I say, okay, you know, I'm not going to do this, but I put trust in men. And then when you violate the scriptures, when you sin, the Bible says we have an advocate with the Father, Christ Jesus the righteous. And some of you, you put trust in men and it, it, it comes to idolatry because you believe the person than you believe God. is a subtlety is a subtlety is a part of the serpent's arson arsonry the subtle things is a part of the serpent they said no the serpent was more subtle than all the beasts of the field which the lord of god have created so god created the serpent with the subtlety because the subtlety is a dimension of wisdom he says it, it, the bible said be wise as a serpent and be harmless as a dog, not harmful, because but see, the serpent is harmful. So you want us to be wise, to be cunning and crafty. That's a, that is the serpent nature, cunning and crafty, but harmless, but harmless. And so I trusted somebody for a long time. I trusted people all along. They come close. You trusted them. And when God is telling you, no, 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 you are, is, a course is going to happen or recompense is going to happen or judgment is going to happen because you did it. You still believe, you know, I'm, in that, I'm doing the right thing until God, until God unveiled the thing. They said, my 
God, and they happened to meet during this year. And it seems like you have lost, but you haven't lost, but you learn because you learn a lesson that you're going to help others with. And as as you begin uh, transparent, God's early on he, he witnessed to me, then he brought it out clearly, letting people know, yeah. don't put in this year trust in man. You put the trust in the God in the man, not in the man or the woman. I say man, I mean mankind. Because some people would swear, this is my friend, this is this, this is, and not knowing, not knowing, not knowing. Jesus says, have not I chosen 12 and one of you is a devil? He chose Judas, he chose him. So when people start out, sometimes they start out great, but they so out their heart to the devil. And you don't know. You don't know. So as you go forward, don't put trust in man. Don't put trust in man because judgment can come upon you. God, the reveal of secrets. God, the creator of heaven, said, don't do it. Don't do it. He said, this flesh, this flesh, because the arm of flesh is going to flail. You can't put trust in, if you put trust in flesh, you're going you're gonna to be disappointed. Put trust in God. Have faith. Trust means belief. Have faith in God. They can bring in reports to you. Amen. Somebody said, trust but verify. That's the human nature. Trust but verify. Make sure what they're saying and doing is truth. Is truth. Amen. So we're about to end off. Um, Prophet Marcy, I, I hear the Lord says this. You're going to see in this year, the month of June, going to be very significant because it's going to cause. Uh, judgment to take place against your enemy. There is some. Uh, 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 the enemy has raised up some, some, some people and some systems that will try to uh, uh, manipulate and try to fight, but you have the victory. For the also because I'm going to cause your voice to be known and to be enlarged, even as I'm bringing you from a place of humble beginnings. And you're going to see that the root of what I've given you to do is not only going to, uh, this tree and uh, is going to flourish. And even the UK that you were born in, you're going to begin to see this thing expand to different continents, even to the continents of Africa. For uh, I'm going to give you a system how to work with different peoples in different nations to cause their babies to come forth, their dream to manifest. For uh, 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 and uh, them that uh, uh, would come against you like envious and to try to destroy you like Joseph brothers, they are going to be eliminated their plan the plan of the enemy going to be destroyed for these are the days of progress prosperity and great increase of wealth and abundance mm -hmm. i even begin to see the the nation nations um the, the philippines and the nations in asia in malaysia and some other places you're gonna to begin to see the growth of the ministry the growth of the and it's gonna to come to a is gonna set up a publishing house uh, I gonna give you the ramification but a publishing house that quickly there as they as they give the the ideas and you help them is gonna be they're going to be able to quickly, you have resources available for the publishing house. And so he's going to give you to work out the whole package concerning uh, for the readiness uh, of what's going to take place. So get ready. He's going to have different people to do graphic designs and all kinds of things to work. Uh, they can do their own, but them that don't have is going to be 
a, a different type of package and compensation for people of different continents to so get ready, get ready uh, for the global effect, global enlargement, said the Lord. Mm. For that which was before you, the dam is smitten, and you're going to overcome and rise above uh, the, the, the conspiracies and the entrapments of the enemy. So go for great growth, great increase. But as you continue to remain humble and loyal to me, you're going to begin to have great success, said the Lord of hosts. Your home and your family and even the real estate industry, you're going to begin to see things increase. For wealth is your portion, said the Lord. Amen. Man, thank you so much sir, for that word, Apostle. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just wanted to I put the scripture in there. Um, Isaiah, if you guys have pen and paper, Isaiah 42 and 17. These are the scriptures that Apostle was um, talking about. And Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5. Okay, and so if I just quickly read that out. Jeremiah 17 and verse 5 says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Okay, that's the scripture. And then Isaiah 42 and verse 17 says, they shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images. They say to the molten images, you are our gods. So he was talking about the idolatry. Um, and I mentioned these because these are very two scriptures that God had himself spoken to me about. So that's why I said, I gotta, I gotta share the scripture uh, because I, I myself, uh, um, uh, these were answers to my prayer, and this was the scripture that he had used to let me know that I had crossed the boundaries and had um, crossed the boundaries of people pleasing, get into a place of idolatry of God. And of course, he had to put that in check because the Bible said, cursed is he. So it had to be put into check so that I could win back the favor of God because of the idolatry. So thank you for sharing those two scriptures, Apostle. And thank you for being transparent because um, sometimes we feel like our leaders don't go for anything. Um, and we feel like we're supposed to be perfect like that, but there's real things that's going on that we're experiencing that we all experience. And that's how we learn. And that's how our discernment gets even more heightened. It gets stronger, our wisdom. Uh, being able to create solutions and be a solutionist for others is because we ourselves uh, have gone through some things. Like Apostle Paul said, I don't preach nothing that I have not myself gone through. And so uh, thank you for sharing. Amen. So, so we, we're going to make some decrees here. I want you to pray with me. And then we're going to pull in the net for them that somehow on the broadcast and has never received Jesus as Savior. Amen. Amen. You can say with me, this is the say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. As, as I come to the end of this year. As I come to the end of this year. Help me not to make a man an idol. Help me not to make man an idol. And and put trust in man. And put trust in man. Because my trust is in you, Lord. Because my trust is in you, Lord. So I rebuke and destroy every satanic conspiracy and trap. So I rebuke every conspiracy and trap. Satanic trap against satanic my life. Against my life. Against my purpose. Against my purpose. Against my bloodline. Against my bloodline. My offsprings. Offspring. My church. My church. My business. My business. My education. My education. My city, my state. My, city, my state. And my nation. And my nation. And I thank you. And I thank you. I'm crossing over strong. I'm crossing over strong. Only worshiping you, Lord. Only worshiping you, Lord. Who is the author and finisher of Who my faith? Who is the author and the finisher of my faith? My savior. My savior. My healer. My healer. My deliverer. My deliverer. My soon coming king. My soon coming king. My alpha and my omega. Alpha and omega. The alpha and the omega of this world. The Alpha and the Omega of this world. The beginning and the ending. The beginning and the ending. And I bless you, Lord Jesus. And I bless you, Lord Jesus. And I give you praise and glory. And I give you praise and glory. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. In his name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Woo!
Sorry, guys, I get excited, but I am stirred. Amen, amen. You that has never received Christ as your Savior, this is the last chance we're going to give you today on this broadcast for you to come to Jesus. Are you that has backslidden for some reason? You help men, you do this, and you were disappointed. Say, I'm not going to serve God. I'm going to go back because the world people, you hear that people in the world are even better, more, more sincere than the people of God. Forget that. The people of God has the spirit of God. The people Amen. of the world got the spirit of the world, got satanic spirits. So it can be, there's no comparison because it's darkness. One is darkness, one is light. Amen. It might appear so. It might appear so. So you never received Jesus. Today we give you this opportunity. Amen. For you to come to him. Or you have backslidden. Come to him. Come back to him. And if you're ready, repeat this after me. And say, Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I come to you as a backslider. Forgive me for my sins, Lord. Wash me in your blood and cleanse me. Come into my heart and come into my life. Rule in my heart and in my life from this moment forward. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. If you said a prayer, we, we rejoice with you. The Bible said the angels in heaven rejoice after the uh, one sinner repents. And so now there's a party going on in heaven because of you. Amen. And we rejoice again. Uh, the, tomorrow night, the, the crossing over service is at 10, at 10 p.m., 10 p.m. You can join us at 91-20, 91-20, one for the sixth street in jamaica queens come and rejoice with us as we thank god and hear what he's going to say to us uh, we everyone that comes you're going to get a personal prophecy everyone hear what god has planned for you and as you can pray through you can record it on your device and pray through for the year that is some of the things that God has planned because the Bible says we know in part and we prophesy in part. There's a part that God knows. The secret things belongs to God, but the things that reveal belongs to us. So we love you. Amen. Jesus love you. And Jesus is Lord. Shalom. Shalom.